cause. The show that tells the story of your neighborhood. Meet the people. See the places. Hear the stories. And make up your community on Push Pause. Push Pause. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. On Push Pause. Bernard Pajek can walk again. When, once you stop movement, your body doesn't want to work anymore. It just doesn't want to do things that used to do. And walk-in seems like an everyday thing to you. You talk to someone that's 88 years old and see how walking is to them. It's, you know, it's, it's a great thing if you can do that. But with pain, you can't. Pajek used to fly around the world building ice cream factories for haagen and also smoked. Not good for the circulation in his legs. It, it, it was a it was a while back. It was, it had to be five six years, but as as time went on, it got worse and worse. And and and, and uh, I had to try to do something. I had to see somebody to do something. Thankfully, Bernard was able to say, "Let there be light box," a new imaging system that dramatically improved treatment for his peripheral artery disease. Oh yes, uh, tremendous! I can I can walk. Uh, I don't need to stop and take a break. I don't need to do anything. I I. I I can walk. I can walk. <laughs> Doctors at St. Peter's University Hospital are the first in central New Jersey with a promising new weapon in the fight against peripheral artery disease, or PAD. PAD is a common circulatory problem marked by impeded blood flow to the extremities, most often the feet and lower legs. Over here is the light box. Uh, where we have real-time intravascular imaging. The company trained Rosman Zakir, an interventional cardiologist who is a director of the peripheral vascular program at St. Peter's. The light box is used to treat patients with the peripheral arterial disease. So peripheral arterial disease is when you have a reduction in flow uh, to your legs, uh, to the circulation to the feet and to the legs. Um, you know, it's in the, 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 the mechanism, the pathophysiology is similar to, you know, to coronary artery disease, which I everyone's familiar with, we get plaque buildup, and the plaque buildup can reduce flow. And what, what happens in these patients is they, could, they can present with pain uh, in their legs while walking. Um, and this can, you know, in, in, in patients, it could affect their quality of life, that every time they walk a certain distance, they have to stop because of a severe excruciating pain. So that's called claudication. Um, and other manifestations of peripheral arterial disease may, may be wounds that are non-healing, and, the, and these patients are at risk for amputation if, if, if nothing is done. PAD is also associated with an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and mini stroke. So when we're treating it in our traditional approach, you know, we're kind of navigating in the dark, per se, uh, where we hope we're going in the right direction, but, uh, you know, we really don't know. We're going by what we assume where the artery is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to follow. But a new imaging system called Lightbox, which in central New Jersey is exclusive to St. Peter's University Hospital, offers physicians a clear picture of the blocked arteries and allows them to operate more safely and effectively. And, uh, you know, what the Lightbox does, it has an OC CT fiber at the tip. So this allows for real-time intravascular imaging. So we could see inside the artery itself, you know, where we are. And this could help navigate the catheter uh, to stay away uh, from the healthy tissue and go through the plaque. So what we want to do is, the, you know, the layers are the, the healthy areas. So this is the middle marker. So the catheter goes, um, the catheter is deflected away from the middle marker. So we want to get the middle marker where the healthy area is. And then we want to advance, you know, towards the plaque. Okay, away from the healthy artery. So this, you know, when, and again, when we're doing this, the traditional approach, we have no idea where we're going. We're just hoping that we're going in the right direction. For more information, please go to www.stpetershcs.com. I would do it over again in a minute. In a minute. I would. I thought I would go home and I would have some pain. Not really. Not really. Some bruising, but that was about it. That's all. Coming up.